Orlando, but what a cool video. And I, I like the name of the mission, Psyche. It almost wants you, I mean, makes you want to be like, what's going on? Anyway, I hope you're doing well. As we take a look at the downtown area this morning, it's kind of just partly cloudy out there. Fine here, but this is what we're talking about. Orlando, eh, it's a roll of the dice. We have wind advisories up for the Treasure Coast. We have the risk of severe weather, tornado risk. We've seen some isolated tornado warnings up here near Jacksonville and Daytona. So widespread storms that are moving in from the Gulf of Mexico up into this vicinity. We're on the cusp of it on the periphery, and so really not too bad here. But a marginal risk for an isolated severe storm in places like Vero Beach later on today, just on the periphery of that. It is an impact weather day for us, though. If nothing else, the heat. We're going to be up into the low 90s and feeling like the triple digits today. Nothing really on first morning radar in our vicinity right now. Temperatures though, oh, you know when we start out in the low 80s and it's October the 12th, look at this. We're in the low 80s on the Treasure Coast, 85 in Jupiter, 85 in Boca, 83 out at PBIA. And a shout out to Wellington. This is the real feel conditions. When you factor in that elevated humidity, it is going to feel like 106 or so by 2 o'clock. So that's where we're going to roll in the impact weather icon simply because of the heat and also the chance of an isolated strong to severe storm. The day planner is verifying actual highs will be in the low 90s. So here's why. We have this low and it's moving across the Big Bend area of Florida back into the Carolina is away from the peninsula not until tomorrow. We're trapped in the warm sector of this, so the temperatures are just going to escalate for the next couple of days. Eventually that low drives away, and then that opens a beautiful door for us to see a cold front move through late on Saturday and Sunday, and so by Monday we're going to be beautiful and finally feeling like fall. Small craft advisories are up today. South-southwest winds. 15 to 25 knots, so it's really churned up. Three to six foot seas out there, not the day to go boating. Your certified most accurate first morning seven day forecast, three impact weather days. Look at it, 94 for tomorrow, 93 Saturday. On Sunday, the front is moving through, so storms early, and then we're starting to cool the rest of the day. Voila, just a fabulous start to next week. Upper 70s, the highs, lows in the 60 degree range for West Palm. On the Treasure Coast, we'll see some 50s. Beautiful.